Welcome to Sikorsky Today, a video news release program bringing you the latest news from Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation. Sikorsky President Jeffrey Pino has announced the launch of the Sikorsky Raider X-2 helicopter program. Pino made the announcement from Sikorsky's Development Flight Center in West Palm Beach, Florida, setting a course that will lead to the development of prototype aircraft for military platforms. Well, today we're going to introduce a new design coming out of Sikorsky called the S-97 Raider. This 9,000 pound basic aircraft, which will be able to lift 10,500 pounds, is the basic start for Sikorsky to make sure we understand this suite of technologies and really what we think it will do, not just for the Army, but for the Special Operators, for the Navy, for the Marine Corps, for the Air Force, and hopefully one day our international customers. For Sikorsky, it became clear that the X2 technologies would evolve into a military application. It's the next logical, logical step to take the technologies that we modeled, the technologies that we proved, and really didn't know what we were going to do with them. And as we were doing that, our customers started to talk to us. And so we started to realize where possibly these technologies could be best employed. And it turned out to be in the military field. What we're going to do is we're going to show that we can take those technologies, put them in an aircraft which looks very similar to our requirement that is currently in definition, and show that we don't have to take the state of the art today. We can advance the state of the art. The Sikorsky Raider X-2 helicopter will be the first application of X-2 technology, which was developed by Sikorsky to prove the attributes of high speed, low pilot workload, low vibration, and low noise. Sikorsky's built on innovation. You know, our founder was an innovator. That, that was his whole reason for being was innovation. Following isn't good enough anymore. So as we looked at where to take the technology, how the customers had brought their response to the technology into us, it was clear this had to be done. The LTH program is going to let us demonstrate the full envelope of X2 technology. We will demonstrate executing 3G turns on the battlefield at high speed. The ability to maneuver at a turn radius never before possible with a helicopter. The Sikorsky Raider X2 helicopter program will produce two prototype aircraft to demonstrate just what this next generation aircraft can do. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps will have the capability of speed, maneuverability, hot high performance, as well as low acoustic signatures. All critical in performing successful missions such as armed reconnaissance, medical evacuation, as well as search and rescue. The timeline associated with the X-2 Life Tactical Helicopter Program is one in which we will enter preliminary design review in 2011, go through the build and manufacturing of two prototype aircraft, of which the first one we plan on flying within 40 to 50 months from this time. Unlike the X-2 Technology Program, the Light Tactical Helicopter Program will be jointly funded. Uh, for this one, we're going to do mostly Sikorsky money. Our partners are going to also provide us some money, and we're in the process currently of picking all of those suppliers. So it'll be jointly funded between Sikorsky and our major partners who will be on the aircraft as we fly it. I know speed is life on a battlefield, and that's what we're trying to provide, is really the ability for our brave men and women to get out and back quicker at night if they have to and with the absolute top-notch technology so that they're always successful in getting home.